What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Mixtape Moth. So, it appears that Versus is actually coming back. Swiss said there will be season three. It is confirmed. And over the last day on social media, there was talk of a potential battle between 50 Cent and Lil Wayne. Nothing official, though. This obviously generated a debate on social media, uh, mainly after Hot 97's Ebro stated... What Jadakiss did to Dipset is what 50 will do to Wayne. Man, so Ebro is basically saying that 50 would wash or body Lil Wayne. So what y'all think of Ebro's statements? Is he crazy? Is he bugging? Is he speaking from an East Coast bias? Or do you feel that he's on point with his prediction? Let me know in the comment section. But I think regardless of who you prefer. Uh, both 50 and Lil Wayne are two iconic, larger than life rap superstars who deserve all the flowers for their respective achievements in the rap game. They are both very extremely influential and impactful artists. Uh, we can see 50 Cent's uh, influence on drill music and Lil Wayne's influence on the modern day Atlanta trap sound. Both of these guys have been making music really since the late 90s. Now, 50 hasn't dropped an album in years, whereas Wayne has had this resurgence since about 2018 where he's rapping like he's got a point to prove. Now, 50 had his landmark certified classic album, Get Rich or Die Trying, which was a, a true game changer to have banger after banger. And it's one of the most anticipated rap debuts in history. Whereas Wayne had his Carter series, uh, which I find one to three to be the best from that collection. And this is no shade to Lil Wayne, but he does not uh, have an album as classic or as legendary is Get Rich or Die Trying. Um, but his catalog is nothing to scoff at. Lil Wayne has an insane feature presence, which I can only imagine would be a headache uh, for him to try to select songs for verses. I mean, one could argue that he could do a versus battle uh, just based on his features alone. But something that both 50 and Wayne share in common is their strong mixtape run. Now, younger folks are likely more acquainted with Lil Wayne's mixtapes than 50s. Wayne's mixtapes have been looked at as iconic in hip hop, you know, whether we're talking about uh, the series from The Dedication, The Drought, Sorry for the Wait, No Ceilings, uh, Lil Wayne definitely shut down that piff on numerous occasions. But 50 should be looked at as one of the first mixtape stars, uh, as he had quite the mixtape presence leading up to Get Rich or Die Trying. I'd say the average person probably knows more of Wayne's mixtapes, but if you are old enough to remember, and if you were definitely outside, uh, then you would know that 50 and the G Unit mixtapes were a thing. Actually, a big thing. So let's just say this matchup would occur. Probably won't, but let's just say it does. I think it would be a close matchup and not a wash. And I say this because there are a lot of factors that go into success in a versus battle. And I think we all learn that from watching Dipset in the Locks. You have to look at the artist's energy. What's their stage presence like? Are they moving the crowd? What's their vocal performance and breath control like? Do they have vocal clarity uh, or do they sound rusty? The sequencing and selection of songs is another big factor. You know, can the artist counterpunch well? Just because you have classic songs doesn't necessarily mean that you will play the right ones at the right time. So there's a lot of strategy and planning involved. And I can see 50 having the edge in this department just based on how he carries himself and um, conducts business. But I do think Lil Wayne could have the edge when it comes to features and remixes. And as a result, he could bring out some crazy guests. And also, Wayne just has more recent material that he could pull from than 50. But I think 50's bread and butter is gonna be get rich or die trying. And that's not to say that he doesn't have other albums with strong material. 
not counting power to dollar and guess who's back, uh, the massacre would be his second best. After that, I gotta be honest, I haven't loved 50 albums. However, in the Snoop and DMX battle, we saw how beneficial it was uh, for Snoop to perform the songs from his classic album. Uh, Snoop did that with Doggy Style, and 50 would likely do that with Get Rich or Die Try. So, while Wayne has some anthems and bangers, uh, it would be hard to beat out some of those songs from Get Rich or Die Trying to keep it a buck. I also think 50 could play uh, the songs from Power and Raising Kanan because those are two tracks that are likely going to resonate with folks since so many people watch those shows. So yeah, at the end of the day, I would be leaning towards 50, but I don't think that it would be a wash. And the only way that Wayne could possibly get washed would be if he were to repeat the same errors that Dipset made against the lock, which I hope no human being ever tries to do again. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. It's your boy Mixtape Moth. I'm signing out, but be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, it's peace and blessings. Potential versus matchup one.